Hey, this is Nate Wind from Nate Wind Creative, and today I'm going to be giving you a preview of Canon's newly announced G9X and G5X. First, let's talk about the specs. They have the same resolution, same uh, range of shutter speed, same max ISO, and the same sensor size. And now for the differences. They're a different weight and size, they have different lenses, and the 5X has an electronic viewfinder, whereas the 9X only has an LCD screen. In a previous video, I reviewed the G7X, and one thing I was a little disappointed with when it came to that camera was the lack of electronic viewfinder. Um, whereas the G5X does have a viewfinder, so I'm pretty excited about that. That's definitely a big plus. Now the G9X still does not have a viewfinder, but that camera is a different price range. It will be catering to someone who might not be looking for that same level of control. So the 5X also seem to have more buttons uh, to give you more creative control on the actual body of the camera. So you can change settings and things like that while still looking at your uh, subject, focusing on your subject, and not having to go into deep menus. So as far as ISO, they both have the same range. Uh, it ranges from 125 to 12,800, uh, which is higher than you'll really ever need. Um, I mean, really when shooting, you wanna keep the ISO as low as possible anyway, but if you are in something, a really dark area where you just need to see your picture, the ISO can help you out there. So as far as the sensor size, they each have the same one inch sensor and the same Digic 6 processor. Um, so you can expect the same uh, high quality photos from either one. As far as the video specs, uh, they're pretty standard. Both of them have the same video specs. Uh, they shoot 1080p at 60 frames a second. I was hoping for something a little more advanced, uh, like shooting 4K. Um, so in that realm, the Sony RX100 still uh, has that beat just by a little bit. Um, or at the very least, looking for something like a higher frame rate uh, in order to do better slow motion. But still, if you're just shooting normal day-to-day -day, uh, videos, not too bad at all. So in respect to both cameras, the G5X and the G9X, Canon didn't seem to do much to uh, change the autofocus, which when I reviewed its predecessor, the G7X, um, that was one thing that I thought was, uh, was, was lacking a little bit. Um, so I can't wait to get my hands on uh, both of these new cameras in order to check that out and uh, see, if, see if the focus is any more accurate or um, any more quick, any quicker, any quicker. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the thing I'm most excited about with these cameras is uh, the 5X. I'm excited that it has the electronic viewfinder, so I'd really, because I, I like using more manual controls. I'm used to DSLRs, so uh, I like to play around with all the settings and all that. So I'm excited to see how the viewfinder works and what cool shots I can take using the manual settings of that camera. So I think the G9X would be for uh, someone who is just using it for its automatic settings, um, someone who's not as into photography and who just wants to capture the moment. Um, the 5X on the other hand I think is for possibly a photographer, a prosumer, someone who, um, someone who might want to get a little more into the manual controls um, or who is used to a DSLR but doesn't feel like carrying a bulky DSLR around with them. Both of these cameras are scheduled to come out in November of 2015, so pretty soon. And uh, definitely keep an eye on focuscamera.com for when those cameras are released. And uh, once again, my name's Nate Wind from natewind.com, and I will see you when I see ya. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and visit us at focuscamera.com. <laughs>